always good to be here in H-Town, Houston, Texas. We are live at Toyota Center tonight. DC, this is a venue that has been good to you and your team, and we'll see who can make some more UFC history here tonight. Houston is just a great fight city. You can think of Vegas, Brazil, Canada. Sometimes Houston gets overlooked, and some of the biggest fights have happened in the Toyota Center. This is a great fight venue for all UFC fights. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Lands the right hand over the top. He's got to start moving his head. He cannot take this many shots to the head. The right hand just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, nice right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Wow. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. What a punch. Nice head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Take him down. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. We need the takedown. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee to the body, man. I wish I was that tall. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab, DC? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. That one stuck in. Nice fight. Just out of the range with that right hand. Gedalia gets the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Final seconds of round one. He lands with the left. Nice kick. 
More sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always good to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. And just misses with that big right hand. Nice jab by Goodell. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice one, two there. Goodell, you going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strikes until he makes them stop throwing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Three minutes to go. Blocks the shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of him. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. shoy has got the tie clinch now. And they separate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping every time. Oh, blocks the shot. Nice punch lands over the top. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, Gedalia's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That's how you finish your fight. Oh, nice land with 
the knee, you see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 20 seconds to go. And that one certainly found the target. Powerful leg kick land. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Finds a home for the left hand there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Don't be stupid. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so back to back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the stage. This is what happened when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Gedalia gets caught with that punch. Straight right is there. Oh, big head kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Hands up, hands up. Nice punch by Chor. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Head kick. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. He blocks the punch. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. What a tricky head kick. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Effective strike there by Choi. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds look like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Visibly limping here. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab. Body kick now by Gadil. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Gedalia. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mix in his opponent. 
Oh, nice right hand, John. How about that shin? Nice punch land. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, He's so educated. He's so able to fight with both fighting stances. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. In this instance, it most certainly did. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice right hand. Pretty significant welt to the left side. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Huge block there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the ball. He's hurt! He's hurt! Punch over the top. Let's get that jab working, bro. Just over three minutes to go. Now connects with a right. Got the single collar tie. Now Joy gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Wow. Actually got the takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. Let's see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. 
Nice strike. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Back and forth we go. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Right. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break you? Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Good combination. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Gedalia. Oh, and he lands another punch there. Hopefully the stat guy will give him credit. Give him credit for the punch, even if it's not just a jab. Dig and kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice straight right, Lance. Oh. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Establish that jab. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice strike landed there by Gedalia. Whoa! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whiffs on the right hand. All right, single collar tie now. Big knee to the body. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Plus right hand is true.
tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Ooh, big shot land. Two minutes now to go in this one. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Just missed with the left there. Right hand punches the clinch. Slips to avoid that left. Well, I'm an identical twin, two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head popping back every time he's done. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Gedalia. All right, let's go. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Let's get him down. Nice leg kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, big punch land. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Found the target with that left hand. And they separate. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get the beautiful level change. Lisa take. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Choi. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!